Welcome to the Saints Weekly Roundup, where we talk about what's happened and what's happening at your St. Thomas Aquinas High School. I'm Jordan. And I'm Phil. This week is a buffer week, so not a, lot of ha not a lot is happening in the sports world. What's a buffer week? No one is allowed to use the facilities unless they are a football player. Well, we did have 15 Saints sign their intent to play the sport at the next level. That is incredible. Way to go, Saints. We We're are proud, proud of you. you. This week wrapped up the Kentucky Feud Drive with seniors winning the overall competition. We had juniors in second, sophomores in third, and freshmen in fourth place. It was a successful week for the Saints community, helping out Catholic Charities with 77,257 cans donated. Another Saints community helping out is our Key Club. Key Club is a nationally recognized organization. It sure is. They do a lot of incredible service events throughout the entire year. We will send it down to Sydney, who will be interviewing the head of Key Club, Ms. Dillingham. All right, today we have Ms. Dillingham here, and we're going to ask her some questions about Key Club. So the first question is, how does Key Club look on your record? Well, it is an international high school leadership and service organization, so it's recognized around the United States. And a lot of colleges actually have something called Circle K, which is the next one um, up for college level. So Key Club naturally like migrates into that. So it's a very recognizable organization. That sounds pretty awesome. All right, so the second question is, how does Aquinas provide opportunities for service hours? Well, we don't just do that through Key Club. Um, people like Ms. Eigenberry and the rest of the campus ministry team have an entire like service organization online where kids can go and find service opportunities. But the cool thing with Key Club is that I'm like, the, I cut out the middleman. I schedule all the various events so you don't have to go looking for them. All you have to do is sign up and show up. So it works out pretty well. That sounds like the play right there. Um, finally, our last question is, what impact has it had on students? I think it's really been powerful for them to see um, we, uh, everything we do is corporal. We do a lot of work specifically with groups of people, like we're in there in the mix. And that getting to see how, um, like when we do team soccer, seeing how kids have grown up over the years and become so much more skilled and socially, like, um, better suited for things and everything like they get to see their their service hours in action and see the actual like impact it makes on people and it impacts them in the process well all right that was uh miss dillingham thank you for coming out and that's it the key club is a great organization to get involved with they have incredible community outreach and their commitment to service is second to none contact miss dillingham if you have any questions Switching things up a bit, I was blown away by our musical this past weekend. Did you go? I did. It was amazing. We are going to send it down to our next act, Brooke, who is with Matt, the gym teacher in the Freaky Friday musical. Hi, Saints. Thank you for tuning in today. I'm here with Matt, and I'm going to ask him some questions about theater. <clears throat> Matt, you did fantastic in the musical this year. Is there anything that you wish you knew before trying out? Um, thank you. Just how great of an area it is. Um, you already can kind of tell by the way we act and how close we are, but I don't think people really know how close of a community this is and how it lets you get to know people a lot better and how many people you get to know. And it's just, it's a lot more fun going to high school when you know you have people who like to do the same thing as you. That sounds great. Is there anything that's coming up in the theater department currently? Um, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer is coming up very soon, so if you want to audition, I would do it very soon. You have to send in a video, but we are trying to get as many people to audition as possible. What advice would you give to people that want to audition or get involved in theater? Um, you don't really have to do much to get involved. I mean, just check out the website or talk to Mrs. Spillman, but the audition is probably the most nerve-wracking part of the whole thing. But once you're done with that, I mean, like, don't be scared. In theater, you're supposed to be wild and go out there and be yourself. And I think it's a lot more easier being yourself going into theater instead of trying to be like, oh, I need to be perfect. You don't need to be perfect. They just want to see if you're good for a part. And then once you get into the show, it's probably one of the best times of your life that you have. So I encourage a lot of people to do theater. It's really fun. Great answers. OK, thank you, Matt, for being here today. And remember to tune back in next time. Thanks, Brooke. Matt was just hilarious to watch. The casting was great, and I look forward to our winter play. Our theater department really is something to check out. They're all so talented and have a lot of fun. Another team with a lot of talent is our football team. They have a tough game this week facing off against St. James Academy, who they lost to previously this season.
It was our homecoming game, and it was a tough loss. So let's throw it down to the football team. Thanks, guys. I'm here at uh, Wyatt Lewis, corner, starting corner for St. Thomas Aquinas football team. Um, you're coming off an amazing win off of uh, standing Lewisburg. How is that making you guys feel right now? You know, Lewisburg was a good team, and I feel like everybody just kind of connected. So I have a good feeling about tomorrow night on Friday. That's awesome. That's awesome. You guys previously lost to St. James the last time you played them. What are you looking to do differently this time? I feel like everybody's been, you know, focused, locked in at practice. I feel like everybody's kind of on the same wavelength this time. And I, I got a good feeling that everybody's just going to be on their A game and we're going to be St. James. Okay, okay, okay. That's amazing. If you guys, do you guys plan to, uh, what do you guys plan to do different on defensively? I think it just starts kind of from the rip with intensity. I feel like Coach has really got us fired up this week, and I feel like everybody's just kind of ready for, for what's going to happen, and hopefully that's, that's the win. That's amazing. Back to you. Thanks, guys. Sounds like they're prepared. You know what they say, failure to prepare is preparing to fail. Let's go, Saints. I hope to see you all packing the stands, cheering our Saints football team on to victory. Thank you so much for tuning in to our Saints Weekly Roundup. I'm Jordan. I'm Phil. And, and we will see, see you next week. week.